Welcome guys to the 4231 squad builder that you've been asking for. This team's going to cost around about 500 coins and it's the perfect team to try and do well in weekend league. So, we're starting off with a goalkeeper and I firmly believe that you need to get the best goalkeeper on this game and it's no surprise that it's going to be David De Gea. Simply incredible, absolutely simply incredible. The uh, best chemistry style that I've found for this keeper is basic. I've tried glove and I've tried uh, cat and I just feel like they prioritise the other attributes too much. So I left it on basic and, I, basic and I found that basic is the best for De Gea. Definitely worth the pickup. If you've got Lloris and you've got the spare coins, just go and upgrade to David De Gea. The, the saves he makes with his feet is worth it alone. He's just an incredible keeper. Going with the two centre-backs and they are the two centre-backs that I actually had um, in my 40-0 uh, team, and that is Bailly. Again, absolutely incredible. Just just look at those stats. 78 pace, 84 defending, 84 physical. Good work rates with medium height, and he's just overall an absolute tank. You will see him in most pro players' teams. If they have like a, a combination of a Ferdinand, um, they will normally have a Ferdinand and a Bailly or a Maldini and a Bailly. He's literally just that damn good. So the next centre-back, again, we're going over to Van Dijk. He's going for around about 8,000 coins. And I'll tell you now, for the, for the price he is he he's unreal he's got again he's six foot four his work rates ain't the best but attacking defensive but again i don't see him uh, running out of position uh 73 pace which is decent for someone who's six foot four 83 defending 85 physical 92 strength his stamina is 76 but i don't really see uh see that affecting him much in game and again, if you stick a shadow card on him, he goes up to 80-odd pace. He's literally just another beast. And the best right-back on this game, we are going with Antonio Valencia. Um, what can I say about this card? High, high work rates. Again, another beast, another brute that you want in your team. Again, this team, especially the defence, are just physical. Very hard to uh, get past in one-on-one -on -one situations, especially if you're good at defending. Look, 87 pace, 85 physical, 81 dribbling, high, high work rates. Good, very good stamina, so perfect for the, the right-back position and 85 strength. I've got him with a shadow card again to increase the speed because obviously most pro players and most top 100 players play with uh, Hunter cards, obviously, to increase their pace and shooting. So that's who I've gone with. The left-back is someone who's... Um, he's recently got an inform and he's got very good stats. I've played a couple of games with him and it is Marvin Ziegler. I don't have him in my club and it's the inform. He's got uh, not the greatest work rates, high, medium, but he's six foot one, 83 pace, 80 dribbling, 84 physical. He's got great stamina, great strength with both 87. Decent sprint speed. Again, if you put a shadow card on him or if you want to get him up more strength, put an anchor card on him and that'll bump his uh, strength up quite a bit. But again, a very good card. And I've seen a lot of uh, competitive players use this card. A lot of people fancy the new Ashley Young 84. I do not like the new 84 Ashley Young because um, he's a right-footed player playing in the left-back position. But Ziegler, for me, wins it. And we're going into the central... Um, centre mid and that is of course Bakayoko he is one of the people that you're going to be playing centre mid again just a very OP card um, 6 foot 1 again good physical stats uh, ok pace but again just put a shadow card on him to bump that up I've, I've, played, I've played over 250 games with him he's an absolute beast um, a cheap Kante but I would recommend um, getting Kante if you have the coins or partner him because Kante does have better work rates with a uh, higher defensive where Bakayoko's a medium medium. The second um, centre mid or the CDM that's going to be uh, playing is going to be actually Ander Herrera and the, he's got different work rates to um, Bakayoko. He's got high high and I recommend with your two CDMs having two CDMs that have got different work rates. You don't really want two CDMs that have got both medium attack and both medium um, and both high defense uh, because they're going to be doing exactly the same job. You want one of them to probably engage engage in the play a little bit, go a little bit further forward. So that's why I've got medium, medium and a high, high. Um, I preferably, if you've got the coins, I would actually take out Bakayoko maybe um, and put in Kante or just do the opposite and put uh, take out Ander Herrera and put in Kante because then they'll both have different work rates. So that is the reason we've got Ander Herrera and obviously provides strong links. The other centre mid you're going to have in this team is going to be a relatively surprising one, but you're going to change him in the game, and that is Gabriel A. Jesus. Um, 
I said you got to play him centre mid. Uh, well, th you're going to change the formation in game, but he's playing centre mid here. Um, obviously, I've got him in a striker, so he hasn't got full chemistry. Put him centre mid and then change it in game. You could play him either left attacking mid, centre attacking mid, or right attacking mid. But on the left wing position, we're going to have probably, again, the most out overpowered um, left winger on this game. And that is going to be Anthony Martial. Again, he's on my team. I'll start him on the bench and then bring him on straight away when I switch to the 4 2 3 1, just for chemistry reasons. So, again, Anthony Martial played over 260 games with him 105 goals, 108 assists. A very good card, medium low. Not, not the greatest work rates, but again, he's just an absolute beast. 79 stamina, not the greatest, but again, I don't really notice that. 76 strength, not too bad. Stick a hunter on him, and he's just he's just a beast. The striker, I've got him in my main team, and it's Alexandra Lacazette. I've only just started using this card, and I play him on the right hand side of the 4 2 3 1. So the, four, uh, so the right attack mid, and I've got to say, he's an absolute monster. 21 games, 19 goals. 14 assists from that right attack in midfield position. He's just an absolute beast. In this formation, when you switch it in game, you can play him as the striker and you can play Jesus out wide or you can play Martial as a striker and you can play uh, Lacazette out wide or whatever you fancy. With the with these striking combinations, you can play, just, just switch it around. See who you find is best. In my main team, obviously, I've got Ronaldo up front. So at the moment, I've got Lacazette in the right attack in mid position. And the cam... The cam that I'm going to recommend to go into your um, into the 4-2-3-1 is going to be Mick Atarian. Um, I've played with him. Again, a very good card. You, you're going to start him, obviously, as a right winger and then convert him into a central attacking midfielder. So the recommendation I would give for this team would be um, Martial as the striker, Mick Atarian as the cam, Lacazette as the right attacking mid, and Jesus as the right attacking mid. And the reason why I've gone for... Uh, Martial as a striker just because he's a little bit more physical I find than um, uh, Lacazette even though Lacazette does actually have better in games uh, strength I just find that Martial's got a bit more about him in regard to strength so this is the team um, how you started in in game you're going to want to start here as this so let's find the 4-2-3-1 the 4 2 three, one. there we go so you got Martial as the striker, Mikatarian as the cam. Oh, what am I doing? Jesus as one of the attacking midfielders, and this is how I would do it. And then, obviously, what you'd make sure you'd have the two CDMs on stay back while attacking. You can have the two fullbacks on stay back while attacking, but obviously, experiment with that. And then the striker on get in behind press back line if you're not sure regarding the custom tactics and the player instructions guys i have got a video on the custom tactics um and the uh best player instructions the best custom tactics best player instructions for this formation i know quite a few guys have asked for this uh, this is a 500k 4231 squad builder i hope you guys enjoyed it please give it a like we're almost out at 400 subscribers which is fantastic considering i only started a month i started a month ago and uh give it a like guys hope you enjoy it uh, subscribe for more. See you later. Bye.